All right, before we get into this next video, y'all go check out Trade Academy, powered by House Call Pro. This week, they are giving away police security flashlights. So all you got to do is uh, follow the link in the description below. I think you just got to enter your email and uh, first and last name to enter a chance to win uh, the flashlight. Like a pretty cool flashlight, but... They will be giving away things uh, throughout the year. If you haven't yet, go in a, a chance to win the scholarship. Just follow the links in the description. All right, folks. Got a couple no cool calls. Let me try to knock out real quick. Do got a little bad weather on the way. All right, let's see if I can get some. That's not that bad today. Okay. 72. No problem. I think I'm probably going to be outside, but uh, I'll check the little wire. All right, so we got a unit set for 72, but it's 80 upstairs. I need to determine which one is upstairs. This one is not running at all. All right, I really think this is gonna be the unit right here. No refrigerant flow. gonna be the unit here yeah there go my return grill that's upstairs all right so i'm gonna go take a look at the condenser unit downstairs is cooling it's satisfied Install these thermostats. He think a, a wire is loose, but everything looked pretty good. He said the blue wire. This uh, Nest thermostat needs a common, so I'm probably gonna need to correct that. But let's go look at the uh, outside. We do got a blue wire for a common. So we're probably going to need to uh, fix that. So now I got a little delay. So about a minute and a half delay. Inside the furnace. But the blue wire was there. The reason I didn't plug it in was because it wasn't plugged in. It wasn't used last time, but the nest requires okay. a common. Okay. What's common do? It's just a common for 24 volt neutral wire. Okay. okay. But, but the old nest, they will work without it, but you're going to have problems in the plug it off. I mean, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I can take care of it before I leave, but yeah, let's go outside to the okay. connection. Let me, uh, 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 let me
Okay. Okay. I have a word oh, okay. I put my shoes. It's right here on the side, right here? Yeah, yeah, we don't have a word. Okay. I'll just... Yeah, the things I'm always trying to make shoes from my dogs. Because they go pain in the eyes. Oh, shit. Trust me. I know. It's over here. It's on the side. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, you don't need me out here, right? No, I'm, I, I take care. Will you be able to fix it? Uh, let me uh, diagnose it first. Okay. I, I don't know until I look at it. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's any more than that. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do. 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 So hopefully he just need a capacitor and uh, need to correct that common issue on that nest because he's going to have problems. All right. Probably just a capacitor, the usual suspect. So hopefully we can get to some air. All right, so this is the uh, cab right here. Be very careful. I'm messing with these disconnects. The reason I say that because if, if, if none of these units was calling for cool and this one on, you would think this disconnect, since it's right by the unit, it's for this unit, but it's not. So, also, when I do kill power, See how it turned out now? I need to verify that I don't have power. I don't know if you can see that. That one's sweating good. It's downstairs. I'm gonna verify I don't have power. All right, so I've only been using this UEI meter, uh, UEI meter lately just to check voltage because I don't know if I should trust the voltage, but the amps in the capacitor has not been read correctly. All right, so got no voltage there. Got zero and zero. If I got zero microfarads on this capacitor, I can say this capacitor, uh, reading microfarads on this meter, I'll be out for like two or three sometime. But if it's reading zero, even with this one, man, it's no good. I can trust that much. So I'm reading 13 microfarads. So I'm still, see, I know it's low. 13 microfarad, I'm gonna go get my field piece meter. Let's see what the rating is. But I'm quite sure that's, that's the problem. All right, so we got 35 by five. 35 by 5. So I'm going to go get a meter and another cap. So, right, so I got a 35 by 5 here. 35 by 5. Alright.
All right, so today is Thursday. I've been taking a few days off. And I uh, just got two these two cars I need to run real quick. And uh, hopefully I can get a little break. So I got, yeah, we need to check these capacitors now. Michael Farad on here. So I think on that other one, I was getting like 13 something. I will let's see this meter. Let's see what we're getting on this right here. Let's go to common to the hern. What we getting there? Pretty much the same, 13, 13, 13. So you know it's bad. Both of them picked up 13. Let's go to Common and Herm on the new one. So I got 35, 34, 35. Okay. So the yellow is the Herm, purple and red. coming from there. Hopefully it's not going out on internal overload. All right, home motors, if, you, if your unit is not uh, cooling, just go ahead and turn it off until somebody get a chance to look at it. A lot of time when it's just stop cooling all of a sudden, it's not going to magically start back cooling. And we don't want to make a problem worse than it already is. Nice old compressor sound. Oh. Didn't I hear that nice compressor sound? Got us some good water holes right there though. Gotta cool that compressor down. Alright, so let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so I yeah, no. So I replaced the capacitor on here. And uh but since you had it running, huh? the compressor overheated. So I need to cool it down. Okay. And then it'll start running. You got, do I need to turn it off right now or something like that? Or? No, no, no. I got it off right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah man. What the hell I'm doing? No, I mean. It's the first house I've bought. You know, I've been this whole time. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whenever it start, um, if you feel it, it's not cooling or something, uh -huh. especially after a few hours, just go ahead and Turn it off and call somebody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should be fine. Can you replace a piece? Yeah. Okay. And this probably you don't think will happen again? Uh, yeah. You have an older unit. Yeah, I mean, it, it uh... How often is that? Is this something that's going to be happening all the time? It's a capacitor, so, I mean, they, they last anywhere between one and maybe ten years. Oh, okay. You just never know when okay. they go out, you know. But I hope that we can get about five or ten years out yeah. of it. But well, this is an older unit. Yeah, yeah. That one's the new one yeah. over there. So you the one. Some some break. Some something else will break later. You know. Yeah. Yeah. If it ain't a motor, a capacitor, contactor, or something, you know. We'll probably get the thing replaced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if the warranty covers the plate. Well, well, it, well, it depends on what's wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. But this one here. It looked like 09. She has one. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not that bad. No? You've seen older? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I've been told, you know, usually after 10 years or so, 
Yeah, that, that's pretty much what they last now. But I, I just replaced my grandma, and her was 1982. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's actually almost 40 years. Yeah. I guess they don't make them like they used to. Yeah. Oh, shit. Be careful, man. What's wrong? Those yellow jackets out there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, those don't fuck around. Yeah. No, those things are usually pretty good. Yeah. The red ones you'll never see me, but those yellow ones. Oh yeah. The yellow ones just bite. No, I'm just obviously. The yellow jacks I've never seen, but really? the, the red ones get me. Man, uh, it, it depends on what, what what time of day is. It. The, 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 the red ones, brown noon, or, or the hot part of the day, they're aggressive. Man. If you go by their nest. In my house, growing up, we have yeah. the red ones all the time. Oh yeah. I never got the Man. But the yellow ones. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe that's what all the time. Yeah. All right, all right now. All right, I'll see if that's enough. Still not kicking up. Alright. Alright, let me go get my drill so I can plan it. Ain't but two screws. Make sure that fan. To the goodman. I'm trying to keep from taking the top off, but I might have to. Steaming, but Take the top off of 
feel that compressor. And then we'll see if the wine is open there. All right, I'm trying one more time. Not then. Not a thing. I'm gonna do is just feel here. Yeah, so that compressor is still it's very hot. So nine times out of ten, it's going off on internal overload. So what it is though, this bullet head right there, that ain't good for the cool down the compressor. I'm in the gated community, y'all, so don't worry about my truck being over like this, and I'm right by. They got security and everything. So, uh, looking for my nozzle. But yeah, that compressor going off on the internal overload. This right here, a little better when it comes to cooling down the compressor. Right here. I'm just gonna use it straight up. I have to go way around there and turn the water hose off. This right here gets the job done though. These style of compressors right here. It's, it's like a case. The more slimmer compressor, a little easier to cool off. But these take a little longer because uh, you gotta get to those winding, cool them off. They take you down at the bottom. I will clean the core too.
the little bone. Be ready to fire up now. I can't wrong see. A lot of y'all don't know Justin Wilson. I can't wrong see. Just fire up now. Yes, sir. All right, now I gotta run. I don't want to get wet. Kidding me. Oh, man. Gotta be kidding me. Man, cause that thing was hot. Alright, somebody won. I'm gonna go get that hard star kit. I try hard to start kit. I can't believe that. Nothing. Hard start on here. I'm gonna just let it hang. And uh hopefully I'll get it done. Even 
that shell cold though. I still think it's off when it turned overload. I should have checked the wine is when I had the top off. Cause it's probably still open. Sometimes things take an hour to cool off. If it don't start this time, that's, that's what it is. Let's see what it do. Nothing, 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 nothing. So that thing's still going off on the internal overload. That's what it is. Alright. So I'm gonna give it a while, let it cool down and just see what it's gonna do. Might bring my water back out. Alright. All right, y'all, so I ain't gonna bore you with this. So I'm gonna let it sit here about 10 minutes. And I uh, hope she fire up. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna do this about 10 minutes, nonstop. All right, folks, I'm gonna make sure we got some refrigerant in here as well. Zero PSI. This thing has no refrigerator. So I get a bad cap and no refrigerator. Zero. So I would have been waiting all day for that. That's not good. What kind of refrigerant do it take? R22. R22 Ain't that so I'm gonna gaze up Put a little nitrogen in here Alright folks Sometimes this stuff ain't hit or miss Hook up your gauge at first and sometimes the weight lasts. But it did have a bad capacitor, so at first I told the homeowner that's probably all it needed. But uh when I first start doing this on my own, I do empathize with the homeowner, feel some type of sympathy or empathy. Sometimes, but it used to be just heartache. Like, man, I hope you know. I hope it just the capacitor, which I did. But now, hey, look here. I don't think I give just give my results of what I find on the diagnostic. And we can go from there. But unfortunately, it's a flat unit with R22, so that's not good news. good news but don't get a message got three PSI If I hear anything out here, a lot of time when it's zero psi, it's possible a leak could be out here. So I got the disconnect out here.
shiny right there or what? Yeah, this leak gonna be out here just condensed about it all. here I think that there's a lot of oil out here I'm out of nitrogen So it's holding up at 75, so. Probably gonna need to put some more nitrogen in there. Like I say, it's a lot of oil out here. Make it lucky and just get a condenser. the tech
that dollar dog terminal blue. Gonna be a tough one, ain't it? So I got 212 in there. Make sure the trader valve not leaking. Yeah, that might be what it is right there. Yeah. Cause it's a lot of oil right here. So it might just be the trader valve though. I mean, it's a possibility. Thing I'm getting that's that's a significant leak right there. All right, so 
So what I'm gonna do is I think I had like 212. Cause if I have uh if I have my gauges on and this the only leak right here, it's not gonna uh decrease as far as my PSI goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this straighter valve and uh we're gonna do another pressure hole on. If it hold up, I might charge it over 407C. All right, I don't think I got any of that on camera, but I have replaced the valve stem on that suction line. So what we're gonna do is, spoke with the homeowner, this is a warranted call. Since this R22 refrigerant, I'm gonna put a quote in or authorization and see if they're going to replace this and just put a 410a condenser the evaporator coil is 410a so hopefully we can swap this condenser out uh, if we get approval for it <laughs> but if i come back and we still got a good pressure on there that probably was the only leak so i almost say they're probably going to put a new condenser but that's still getting an option i mean if you don't have any lip more leaks. But, uh, all right, folks, got that one up and running. Run about 10 minutes. Sound good. 14 seal uh, Weather King. Been installing a lot of these lately. Really, the only thing I get my hands on seems like it, but they've been working pretty good for me. Pretty much same thing as a rude. So it's about 6 o'clock. And uh, better get up out of here. Thanks for watching.